Okay, so in this uh, video today, I'm going to do something a little different other than just an unboxing video. I'm just going to have a little discussion about my personal reasons uh, as to why I like African cichlids. Uh, what you just saw there was my two Mambuna tanks. Um, and uh, what I like about them the most is all their uh, different shapes and sizes, uh, their coloration, um, you know, their personality as well. Uh, they just seem like a really intelligent fish. They kind of know, they've kind of learned who I am a little bit when I come up to the tank. And sometimes if I get a new person in and they're not sure about it, they go away and they hide out. Uh, the amount of colors that they have is com is endless. Um, and there's uh, what's nice is that you can combine these two different bodies of water together here. Uh, we have some Tanzanian fish. Here's my show tank, my Tanzanian show tank. And uh, once these fish are bigger, these Tanzanian fish, you can combine them with uh, the haps and the peacocks. When I get my 220 uh, show tank in the store, you're going to see uh, that uh, those differences. So here we are. My absolute all-time favorite thing about keeping Africans is feeding time. It never gets old to me. Uh, I always take the time to really, really watch my fish eat and to go ahead and rip apart the uh, homemade fish food that I have in the tank. Um, this lower tank here, sorry about the blue light, I figured out a way to, uh, to make that a little better, but um, I love watching this tank too. Um, one dominant fish will grab, uh, go ahead and grab the uh, one piece of food and run away from it, and sometimes the other ones try to nip it off of the mouth if he gets too big of a mouthful. Um, what's nice with the homemade food is that it kind of spreads out. Here on the bottom screen we got some uh, different species of catfish. Uh, coming out. What's fun about them is they kind of hide out the whole time in the little nooks and crannies, but then they come out uh, in feeding time. Um, this tank I love feeding. This is my uh, show mail tank, and I put in big. I put in a big piece in there um, because, like I said, favorite thing ever to do is to watch them. Is to watch them eat. Um, the, all my other fish, I kind of just sort of go past it. But with the Africans, I always take. Uh, I always take my time uh, every morning and every evening just to sit there and watch the meat. And there's one of my haps going ahead and grabbing a big chunk. That's why you got to put a big piece in the tank because they go like crazy. This is one of my holding tanks for the Tanzanian stuff. Some Julitochromis and some Calvis in there with some Lulupis, black Calvis. Um, they're always fun. The Calvis are very predatory fish, so they kind of attack it. Sort of almost reminds me like a pike. Um, and they get even more gorgeous as they get bigger. So different shapes and sizes uh, that I like about the uh, African cichlids. Um, many different colors and a lot of people that don't know anything about uh, fish tanks, they often think that it's a marine tank. And then after every meal I go ahead and uh, I wait a little bit and I drop some nori in there to get some extra fiber in their diet and to help them keep f uh, feel fuller for longer. Um, so that also helps reduce their aggression and keeps them regular. And uh, to say bye, we're going to have Kit Kat eating nori. He loves it. So thanks for watching the video.